it's kind of difficult to multitask on most Android phones just because you don't have enough screen space. Fortunately, Google's working on a new enhancement to the bubble feature that allows you to put any app in a floating bubble and have it stuck to the bottom in a new bubble bar, allowing you to easily switch between them. Here's an early look. Let's say I want to buy a new smartphone. So I go on androidauthority.com and look at the best Android smartphones that are available right now. And I've set all on the Pixel 9 Pro, but just to be sure, I want to compare it um, with the list I created in Google Keep for what I'm looking for in a new phone. Um, to make that easier, I'm going to open Keep in a, in a floating bubble, as well as open Chrome in a floating bubble, and then I can easily switch between the two just by tapping the little icon on the bottom right in the bubble bar that appears. Um, and then let's say I've settled on purchasing the Pixel 9 Pro. So what I can do next is I want to also buy it with the, um, the, the smartwatch as well as the buds. So I'm going to look at the store page for each, and then I'm going to calculate how much it costs to buy the phone, the watch, and the earbuds together. So $8.99 for the phone, um, then it's $299 for the Pixel Watch 3, and finally $189 for the Pixel Buds Pro 2. And putting that all together, we see $1,387 as my result. And you can see how easy the Bubble Anything plus the Bubble Bar feature actually made it to multitask like this, to, to like research something, to open it in a floating window and switch back and forth between multiple applications. This is a significant improvement over the multitasking experience that you have right now on smartphones. And I can't wait for this to roll out on all devices.